So on our on our on our TV on our whatever, they are talking about how like they don't want you to ride the jitney buses. They want you to ride the city Gypsy buses. buses. Gypsy. No, they call them jitneys. <laughs> That's what they call them. So, word. in order to scare you into not riding... That's illegal. That is illegal. Okay. <laughs> in order to scare you not to ride on the jitney buses, what they say Wait, is like... <laughs> yeah, I probably did. But probably really fast. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Attention uh, officers, get that guy. All right. So, in order to scare you, which, again, is illegal, um, in order to scare you into not riding the buses, what they do is they say, they text, they call people on the phone, they read shit, electronic, Kindles, or whatever, right? <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> they're reading Fifty Shades of Grey while they're, like, driving the bus <laughs> for you to go to work or school. So... What they do is they say, like, oh, it's dangerous, right? And they go, sure, you saved some money, but you're taking your life in your hands, right? So, I'm like, all right, I think you guys are exaggerating. Because, again, it's, it's a bus. Even in, if a bus were to have a horrific accident, it's like, you, let's just say, like, five cars slam into the bus, and you're on the bus. You'll, you'll hear, like... Crunch, crash, crunch, crash, crunch. And they'll be like, what happened? <laughs> Did something hit the bus? The way they make it seem, it's like... You, like, tap it and it just goes... <laughs> yeah, it crumbles like a wad of paper. <laughs> and then, like, or you tap it and... Like, like, just like... <laughs> and then, and then they're like, <laughs> you're taking your life in your hands. So they're like, everybody on the bus is dead. Because <laughs> your bus driver bumped something, you know. Oh! Just like going and like, what happened? Well, the bus driver was reading Fifty Shades of Grey on his Kindle. The one time I actually experienced an accident on a bus, Yeah. I was not on a Jesse bus. I was on like a tour bus. And what happened? Stupid dick had like just kind of ran into a car. Oh, he did. And what it's happened? He had a red light. Did you like jerk forward a little in your seat? Yeah, and you're I like, <laughs> see, so, so it was so non-eventful that you actually forgot it, right? Okay. So anyway, never had to sit there for like two hours. There was a whole bunch of it's like, hey, to... can I get off the bus and catch another bus? You know, and I have to be like a witness. So anyway, I was no, thinking, I was like in freaking Washington. Oh, Washington. And, oh, okay. And it was for a so they had like three buses of just a bunch of nerds. Okay. And my bus. <laughs> No, 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 the other bus got hit, but I think I saw it get hit. Yeah, yeah, that's what <laughs> Oh, you weren't even on the bus? No. Oh, boy, okay, that story's not as good as it was, but okay. But they, like, I remember having to wait, like, three hours so that they could fit all the other kids onto our bus. Oh, all right, okay. Anyway, <laughs> the waiting, the waiting. So... I was being suffocated by the <laughs> So, anyway, I was saying... You can't fit that many nerds on one. It's a, yes, it's like, man, I had a cushy seat where I got spread out, and now I'm elbow to elbow yeah. with kids I don't even know or like or whatever. So, anyway, you're on the bus. No, okay, wait. So, they make it seem like the bus is like something super fragile, like, say, a motorcycle. Now, if a motorcycle was coming at you, and you had enough skills, like ballerina skills, where you could just, like, kind of dodge out of the way, or better karate skills, you can actually just knock the whole thing over. You know what I mean? Like, as it was coming towards you, <laughs> it is cold today. I don't know if you can hear the wind. So, you can actually, like, it's coming at your motorcycle, and you just kind of either dodge out of the way, do a, what, a pirouette or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pir pirouette. Yeah, that's exactly what you need to do. Pirouette out of the way, right? Or, you could just, like, if you were a karate guy, you could just, like, sidestep and just give it, like, a push. And you actually knock them over because it's a freaking it's motorcycle. It's a, and like a smart car. You could probably even do that with a smart car, right? I don't know. You might be able to. They're pretty light. Uh, you could probably tip like one good push. Like the motorcycle, it has to be like constantly in balance. Yeah, imagine like a, a, a three wheel motorcycle. That, that would be hard. All right. <laughs> so, all right. So you can't really do it. Like Hell's Angel. But that's like the way they make it seem in the come up. No, like a Hell's Angel rides up to you just like. I've got my eye on you. <laughs> like, a freaking tricycle. <laughs> my other, it, it, like, my other motorcycles in the shop. <laughs> this this is, like, is all I have. This, yeah, I wasn't 
good. Oh, you think we're always good at riding motorcycles, but no, we need practice too. <laughs> we have training wheels on our motorcycles, <laughs> but we never let you see it, because otherwise you'd have to kick your ass. <laughs> I got anything to add to this? Or I think we're done, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay.